tonight, the union representing MLGW employees is working to help customers pay their bills. This is the first winter their bills will reflect that new rate hike that the city council passed, some 12% over the next three years. It'll affect all of the utilities, more than 400,000 customers, but especially seniors who are on a fixed income. ABC 24's Jay Shakur is here with details on how the union is helping out. Jay? That's right, Richard. This rising cost to stay cool or warm is why the employee union is putting up money. They are aiming to relieve the burden on some of their customers. They say it's only a start and that hopefully it pushes the utility's leadership to match their efforts and increase the cost sharing programs. When you think about our senior citizens who has to make choices of paying a utility bill, those high utility bills I might add with the delay bills or buying food, buying a medicine, a view some senior MLGW customers can all but agree with as they approach the winter weather. They say there's little assurance about the reliability of their utility service and they're concerned over the cost of Memphis Light Gas and Water's new price hike. We've had rate increase uh, in all service areas over the last six, seven years. and. We don't see any necessarily any service improvements. But that's where those working for the utility hope to bridge the gap. We feel like it was better to be a helping hand to them. A hand that raised and is giving $60,000 to help senior citizens on a fixed income. The workers union says the funds will be credited to 250 MLGW customers. Union organizers hope the effort sparks the utility to do more. MLGW can and should expand their uh, community that shared apprentice program. Now, the 250 people who qualified for this benefit had to already apply and be approved through this workers' union initiative. The MLGW Employees Union hopes to continue this effort throughout the year, especially as residents start to feel that rate hike this year. Richard. All right. Very nice of them to do. Thank you, Jay.